Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One in my old barn door, and I just had a quick haul video to show y'all. Um, I went shopping at the um, the Carm store here locally. It's called the Knoxville Area Rescue Mission, and so um, for every purchase that you make there, um, they're able to feed a certain number of people, and it's really cool because when you make your purchase, they tell you um, after you pay your amount how many people you've fed for that day. So I think it's really cool. So I went by there and then I found a new thrift store that opened here locally in my little town. So I had to go check that out too. So I'll show you what I got from there. But first um, we will, um, I'll show you what I got from the Carm store. So, I found these two Reader's Digest books, and I paid too much money for them. <laughs> but it's okay, because I've really, really, really been looking for some of the Reader's Digest that have um, the design covers. So, I already know what I'm using this for. This is going to be an Americana slash farmhouse style journal. So I can't wait to work with this one. And then of course I got this one with that. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a light blue, purpley gray color. I don't know if you can tell, but anyways. So there's those two. And then I found some stamps. So I got these. So there's this one. Hang on. Well, anyway, this one, and you can tell, you know, it's used, but who cares? So there's that one, and then one with the little flowers, and then this is a little dragonfly, and then I got one that's got like a calendar, so, and then I, I got a butterfly one, because I don't have any butterfly ones, so I got those, and then, um, they are a little more high priced than other places, but I do like to support them. So, um, you know, if I'm helping people, I don't mind spending a little bit extra. So then I also found these. Not real sure what enamel blanks are, but my thought was to use them for charms. I don't know. And then this little flower kit. Looks like it was actually a free gift that somebody got. Then they had these little um, butterfly, vintage looking butterfly stickers. And there was just four of them. They weren't even in a pack. But Then they had this that is, um, yeah, K and Company. So they are die cut, cardstock, and acetate. Not real sure. But anyways, I got them because, you know, that's not a bad price to order. I ain't them. Then they have these jelly stickers from me and my big ideas. Oh, sorry about the glare. I don't know if I had a glare on the other one or not. But anyways, there's those. And then I found some spare parts. And they had another pack, but they're like blue and green. And I don't, I didn't really need that color. So, but I like this color. Then there was this. I'm not really even sure what this is. It's by me and my big ideas. Okay, so I guess it's all of those little um, die cuts and they're kind of a um, thick cardboard die cut so some of them I will use some of them I won't but if I don't use them you know put them in gifts and things like that but I thought they were cute then um, they had these from Julie Bean soup just little corrugated cardboard die cuts those are the different shapes that are in there I didn't realize there was that. Then I saw these and I love this little bird. I'm going to put it in probably some of my farmhouse journals. Actually, I probably use a lot of these in some of my farmhouse journals. So they're just metal rimmed tags. So I thought those were cute. So I got those. Then I found some patterns. Y'all found some really cool patterns, but they wanted $6.99 for them and I wasn't paying $6.99 for a pattern. So but I did find these for 99 cent. These are from the 60s and 70s. This one's 1974. Love this one. It's still in plastic. Um, let me see if there's a copyright date on this one. 77. 
I love this one. And it's beat up pretty good, but I think I can I think I can do a little work to it and fix it. I don't don't see a copyright. Oh, 1970. I was reading this note. It says, Donna, bring your instrument and come to Value Mart. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but anyway, got that one. <laughs> then there's this one. I love this. <laughs> love, love, love that. Let's see if there's a copyright. 1975. Tell me that don't say hippie to you. I love that. And now people are wearing this again. Uh, 1974. I remember my mother having a skirt like this. And I always loved it. I thought she was so pretty in that little skirt. Uh, copyright 1973. So, all of those. And then, I found these. And I'm going to start using these for, um, I'm going to make some charms and stuff with them. So, I've been looking for some dominoes. These are kind of thick, though. I don't know. We'll have to see. But anyways, got those. Y'all know me and my game pieces. I'm eventually going to get to make that game book that I've been talking about forever. And then I found these. And I got it for this. Um, even though there's... I don't need any more of these. These cards. I don't even know what they look like. I didn't even take them out of the, out of the bag. Oh. Let's see not really yeah that's not my cup of tea <laughs> I don't know don't know what I'll do with those yeah not real interested in those but these I liked these are cute and they have different things on them so they have a vintage look to them so I liked these, so probably spent too much money on that too, but oh well. Oh, there's even stickers in it. <laughs> so anyways, those are the books that I found at the Carm store. Okay. Anyway, I'll put that back in there in a little bit. And then... <coughs> I'm so sorry guys I apologize I know eventually I'm going to get over these allergies <laughs> alright so then I went to the little new little thrift store and I was looking through their books and um, I saw this and I just I liked the cover I thought it was a real pretty cover um, you know a good place to start and it's like that fabric cover so I opened it up and I was super excited when I realized it's an old church hymnal how cool is that? So, I thought this would be neat to use in some journals and stuff. And send to you people as gifts. I didn't even look to see if there was a copyright date on it. Let me see. It's not super old. 1995, so. Still considered vintage, but I like the book. Then I found these, y'all. These were the find of the day. So I found some more Reader's Digest. And I, like I say, I've been looking for some, some Reader's Digest with the um, designed or the designs on the covers. So I found this one. And it's thin. Um, so it'll probably be just like a one signature. And then I found these. This one's a thicker spine, which I love. So I could put two signatures in that but look at that and that's so pretty it looks so vintage and i love it and i don't know if it's vintage i didn't check a copyright date but i love this book 1969 oh this is a first edition i don't know if those are worth money y'all have to tell me if you know i don't think they are but and then there was this one um and look at that. In the, I love the green. That olive green. So pretty. And y'all, these books feel like they've never even been cracked open. They feel like they're brand new. This is a first edition too. Hmm. And 
then there was this one. Isn't that pretty? Definitely make a cool farmhouse journal. Let me see what the copyright is on this one. This is a first edition too, 1978. So you guys let me know if um, if you know if Reader's Digest, like the first editions, are really even worth any money. And then I found this one. It's just a plain purple cover. It's got this little um, engraving on it, which I think is pretty, but I just, I like the cover. I like the color of the cover. Let's see if there's a copyright date on this one. See, this one says first edition too. But the copyright on this one's 1992. So, I don't know. Y'all let me know if, um, if you know anything about them. So, anyway, those were my finds at the new thrift store. And it's just right down the street from me. And I didn't even get to look at all their books. I had, um, I had to go because I had to get to work. So, and then I also, I have some new trims for my... Etsy shop, but I'm not going to show those in this video because honestly, I'm just not feeling great today and I don't, I don't, I just don't feel like taking the pictures and stuff today to um, get those loaded on Etsy. So hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow and I can work on that. So maybe tomorrow I can do a video um, and show you guys the new trims that I've got to go into the shop. So anyways, that's my haul. Just a little haul, which I need to stop spending money. I need to just stop and, um, you know, make books. <laughs> I actually have, um, since I just finished the, my Bohemian journal, um, I have a custom order for one of those um, farmhouse style kitchen recipe um, books like I did previously that everybody loves so much. So she ordered one of those and God love her. She's been very patient. Teresa, I have not forgotten about you. I just finished the other project that I told you I was working on. Um, I've just been real sick the last couple of weeks, um, and had to, um, give my body time to try and heal and do what it needs to do to get better. So, um, I, I am starting your book today, I promise. <laughs> so bear with me, and um, yeah, I'll get in touch with you on Etsy and, and let you know what's going on with it. So anyways, um, y'all go check out that book, um, the one that I just finished. It's the Bohemian Journal. I just, well, I'm actually loading the video while I'm recording this one, so probably shouldn't be doing that, but I am. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I don't mean to babble on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hit like, hit subscribe, share me with your friends. Thanks, guys.